guys, we're in a math person. Today I'll be going over question 153 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try to inspire yourself. Okay, assuming you attempted it, let's just dive right in. So they give you the probability, they give you that the x and y are Poisson distributed, which means that we know that the expectation of x, which is also equal to the variance of x, right? So we're going to assign this variable to be a. And then say, likewise, if we know that y is also Poisson distributed, then we know that the variance and the expectation are the same. So we're going to call this b. Then they go on to say that the first moment, aka the expectation is of x, is less than the first moment of y by 8. So if we term, put it in terms of a and b, then we have a is equal to b minus a. Second, they tell you the second moment of x, so e of x squared is 60% of the second moment of y. But we know a variance of x is equal to the expectation, the second moment, minus expectation squared. So if we terms of, put it in terms of a and b, you get a is equal to expectation squared minus expectation, which is a, a squared. So then that would give expectation of x squared to be equal to a plus a squared. And likewise, that's going to be the same for y squared, second moment. This is going to be equal to b plus b squared by the same proof we did up there. So this is equal to a plus a squared is equal to 0.6 times b plus b squared. So we can actually substitute some variables in. We know that a is equal to b minus a, so we can put that in there. b minus 8 plus b minus 8 squared is equal to 0.6b plus 0.6b squared. Factoring out this thing here, you're going to get b minus 8, b squared minus 16b plus 8 times 8, which is 64, is equal to 0.6b plus 0.6b squared. So on this side, we're going to put, bring everything over on this side. b squared is going to be 1 minus 0 0.4, 0 0.6, which is 0.4b squared. How many v terms are there? There's 1, 2, 3. So putting those together, you're going to get negative 16 plus 1, negative 15, minus 0.6b. So that's going to be equal to negative 15.6b. So we got those b terms. And then lastly, just the coefficients. So 64 and 8. So that's 64 minus 8. That's plus 56 is equal to 0. Cool, cool, cool. So now we just have to do a quadratic formula negative b, so that's 15.6 plus or minus square root of b squared, 15.6 squared minus 4 times a, which is 0.4 times c, which is 56, divided by 2a, which is 0.4. So then you get two answers here, 35 and 4. Okay, so, but the thing is, if we plug in, let's say, 30, um, 4 in here, then that would make a equal to 4 minus 8, which is negative 4. And we know variance can't be a negative number because it's measuring the range. So then that only leaves 35 to be our valid answer. So our, so the answer of the variance of y is equal to b, when we found b was equal to 35, our answer e. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!